could you do the peacock? <laughs> and I said, yeah, of course. He said, do it. <laughs> and so uh, I started to scream. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to do it now, of course, but I did the, the peacock. Give us a taste. No, what's the <laughs> No, I don't do auditions anymore. slug of what the movie is, kind of the elevator pitch, if you like. This guy <laughs> is teaching him to hate people as much as he does. Wow, that's yeah. good. The story came from an article that um, I found with my co-writer Sarah, mm -hmm. and it was about child assassins in Colombia, and that was the initial spark. So um, we were really kind of really moved and disturbed just um, how little connection those kids had with what they were doing and that they were essentially doing uh, these really horrible acts just because the adults around them were telling them to. So Vincent, what about this story made you say, I want to play this role, I want to take on this character? Well, I think it's a very interesting and uh, important metaphor about the relationship between father and son and about how one should kill the father figure at a certain point to exist as an adult and to uh, suddenly take the responsibility of thinking for himself. So Jeremy, what did you like about shooting this movie? What was kind of your favorite part of the whole process? Well, hanging out um, with all the cast and the crew was, was fun, yeah. Vincent bring a good mood in, in the set. Did you pull from any characters? Well, we talked about old skaters. Okay. Well, yeah, you wanted me to be um, moving like an old skater. So kind of guy who never grew, grew up totally. Uh -huh but it has fucked up knees, you know, and it has a problem to move around. And... Oh, my God. Oh. Are you oh! Un, deux, trois. Salut, Salut Olivier, Olivier Porteur. <laughs>